Hello everyone. In this demo, I am going to show you how to use our calendar control. It's very simple to use your calendar control in your project. Just drag and drop the calendar control on the form. Now you get the calendar. Click on auto format from from smart tag and you can select any style that we have simple professional one or anything so i'm going for simple i'll say okay that's it by default it will have the current date selected i'll execute this So here I have my calendar control, I can just browse to the next months, previous months, I can select any date. This is fine. But in our real time application, what we need, we need a text box and a button beside it. And whenever I click the button, it should display me the calendar and I'll select the date. And as soon as I select that date, it should hide the calendar. So I take a text box and say I have one button. And whenever I click the button, it should show me the calendar. So initially, the visibility of calendar, let us set it to false. I'll go to the properties and I'll say visibility false. Now, whenever I click on the button, the calendar should get visible. So I'll say calendar one dot visible equals to two so this is fine so whenever i click the button it will show me the calendar i'll execute this now it is not at all showing me any calendar if i click the button it will show me the calendar now i can select any date now what should happen as soon as i select the date it should take the date into the text box and it should hide the calendar again so i need to write the code in calendars date selected event so calendar will have an event like button has the event of click in the same way calendar will have selected change event so calendar one selection change event so i'm going to write here so what is it i'll do i'll just grab the date and store it into the text box first so I'll say text box one dot text equals to calendar one dot selected date dot to string. Then I'll hide the calendar. Calendar one dot visible equals to false. Execute. I'll select the date it is displaying me the date here I can browse to any other month select the date so as soon as I select the date it is taking the date in the text box and it is hiding the calendar so this is very simple now I'll be going for a little bit of modification of the date the way in which it is displaying me is month day year format and with time default as 12th a.m. now what is that I can do I can simply go to the calendar change event and at the time of selecting the date calendar one dot selected date dot to string here I'll just say two short date string so now it is not going to show me the time it is going to show me only date it is showing me only date but I want to display the date in day month year format so all these things you can work with date time data type and you can go for these methods so I can simply pass a string formatter here that I need to work with two string and I'll simply in quotation I'll write what I want I want dd hyphen mm hyphen yyyy so it is going to display me the date in day month year format 
and mm should be capital so these things you can google and you'll get all the formats that you want from the search so i'm getting day month year i'm going to show you one more format that will be very much interesting i can use td and i'll say for ms mm comma space yy so it is going to show me first january 2012 in that kind of so it is going to show me 12 january 2012 so you have many format that you can work on you just google those things so i hope you might have enjoyed this video this is how you can work with your calendar control thank you very much